And next to um, the pink section, and again, the text is slightly different again. So I'm just going to pan to the side and then go to this section of text in here. And I need to copy all the way down to here, cut that from the text frame, hit the escape key, pan back again. Again, I'm holding down the space bar to get the hand tool and pan back. And then uh, keyboard shortcut to paste. This one here, again, these are all pretty much going to be centered and same style again. So uh, if I select all that text, Back up to the top, Myriad Pro Black. Size the text this time is going to be 23 points. And it's going to have a leading value of 22. Um, center aligned. And with that done, we're pretty good. Just need to change the colors in there. So again, back up to the menu at the top. That needs to have a fill of paper. And then if I press the return key, I also then need to change the stroke to pink. Now you probably won't see that stroke for the most part, but if it does run into the image, it will then just help make it more legible because it's going to be obviously it's very, very busy. And then over to the stroke panel, increase that to two points. And then I will hit the escape key and pull this up in here. And you can see here, if I just put it over the image, you can see the, the outline around there, but we don't need, because we don't need that much room. So we can just move it up to the top. I'm just going to fine tune that with the cursor key and the keyboard to fine tune its position. And then again, I need to go over to the side, get some more text. So that one is going to be a triple click to select that, cut that text, hit the escape key back over here, and then paste that text frame, pull it down here. Just give myself enough room to show that in there. This is going to be a little slightly larger, this text. So again, I'm going to swipe over all of that, change it to black, and then change the size in this case to 26 points. Um, and then for the tracking, we probably need to just alter the tracking in there. But first of all, the color, that's going to be set to uh, yellow. Press return key. And then for the stroke, again, it's going to be take a break, uh, pink. And I'll just increase the stroke weight in there to two points and then make sure that I center the text as well. And we really need to tighten those up. So back over here, if I just extend the text frame again so we can see how much room we, well, don't have to play with at the moment, it will need to be pulled in a little bit. And this does run over the photograph as well. So uh, from here, I'm just going to select all that text. And then I am just going to go up to the top and just drop the tracking value. Minus 10 in there is probably enough. I might get away minus 20 in there. So yeah, minus 20 for the tracking just tightens up all the space between those characters that are selected. Hit the escape key. And then that is the middle title in the pink section done. Now, in all honesty, I could select this text in here. And then I can go to and click on a paragraph style to apply that and call that uh, subhead and then apply style to selection and then click OK, hit the escape key. And then for the next article, if I just pan over to my text in here, click on that text, select it all again, cut that from the text frame and then come back over here, paste that in, move the text frame down. And we don't have loads of room inside of here, but if I start off, I can get the basis of this right. If I click on subhead in there, then what I can do, it will save me a lot of work. Um, so again, in here, just need to make sure that text frame is a little bit bigger. Uh, so we obviously don't have room for that, but if I double click on the text frame and press command or control A to select it all, I can then tap down. Yes, it's not going to match the paragraph style, but it saved me a lot of work having to color the fill and the stroke and things like that and add them in. I do need to tweak them, but it at least saves a little bit of work. And then also the leading in there, we need to drop that down as well to tighten that up. And then for the fill this time, that one's going to be take a break yellow, press return, and then go to the stroke. Um, and that one's going to be blue in there and then press return. Now, not all of those characters are colored the same way. So I need to come back up here and then swipe over the words I lost. Change that to uh, paper. Do the same with the word after and then the remaining text in there and change that also to paper. Press return key, hit the escape key on there and just pull that back over. 
just to see if we can get all of that on there. Like so. So we're just fitting it in there. Um, it's not going to have the lady's face. So we'll just about just about get that fitting on the side of there, like so. So that's the two titles. Um, and then um, in the next video, we'll take a look at the last section down at the bottom.